What is quiet quitting? This is a new TikTok trend that has recently blown up with over 8.2 million views. And in this video, I'm going to explain what quiet quitting is. But more importantly, I want to talk about what this could mean for you and your career so you aren't making a huge mistake right now. And if you want more career tips just like this, make sure you click subscribe down below and share this with a friend who's on TikTok and is talking to you about this new trend. Basically, quiet quitting is taking time to care for yourself during the workday or quitting or stopping to go above and beyond your normal responsibilities in your job because you aren't being paid for it. Thanks to COVID, a lot of us now have fully remote or at least partially remote roles and this allowed for a lot of introspection and people are now trying to see how they can fit work into their lives and not the other way around as it used to traditionally have been. And I've got a link to the full article down in the description below that explains quiet quitting in greater detail. But basically the solution to stop employees from quiet quitting is basically just to pay them more. Duh, what a simple solution. I can't believe no one thought about that. All right, so now you know briefly what quiet quitting actually is, what this trend is all about, and what the industry experts believe is the solution to solving quiet quitting. But first, I want to talk about what are the pros and what are the cons of quiet quitting. So if you are doing it now or you're thinking about quiet quitting, you should know what implications this will have on your long-term career. So first, let's talk about why quiet quitting is actually a good trend. Well, it's going to force you to think about ways to balance work and life or work-life balance as things used to be called and it's also making sure that you avoid burnout. Quiet quitting is actually a really good viral trend because it's going to put companies and HR departments on alert that they can't overwork their employees or if they are having employees work a lot they should have a really good pay for performance structure. My previous employer did not have a pay for performance model where I was working literally 60 to 80 hours, sometimes 100 hours a week, and there was no additional incentive to do so. My annual bonus was honestly pretty insulting, and it led to me quitting and leaving that company. So I didn't do the quiet quitting, I just straight up quit. And so you need to be asking yourself, does your company truly pay for performance? The more work you put in, the more hours you invest, the more you accomplish in the year, do you actually see a direct correlation that is substantial with your annual bonus or stock refresh grants? So honestly, if you are not seeing a really strong correlation between the amount of performance and work that you put in and how your company rewards you, then I think you should consider leaving that company and going somewhere else. Else. And if you are going to do that, make sure you brush up on your interviewing skills. And so you're going to want to click my interview tip playlist right over here so that you can ace these interviews and actually work at a company that pays you for the amount of work that you put in. All right, so now I want to talk a little bit about some of the cons of quiet quitting and why you should be very cautious about doing it. Well, first of all, in terms of the timing of your career, if you are early on in your career, this is your very first job, or you just joined a new company, you should not do quiet quitting. In fact, you should be overachieving right now because you wanna be building your personal brand at your company and for yourself in your career. People need to know that you are an awesome rock star employee that gets stuff done and is a high performer. Then you can start to quiet quit because then it won't actually impact your personal brand. And this is a really important point that I wanna make sure I stress and warn all of you about right now. Quiet quitting is when you are choosing not to go above and beyond anymore. But remember, when you go above and beyond and you're working extra or you're doing better, bigger things at your job, this is number one when you learn the most, which obviously increases your skills and makes you far more marketable for other jobs or promotions in the future. But more importantly than that, when you go above and beyond, that's when you can have really huge and substantial impact at your company and in your role. And you need to have really impactful projects and examples to share for future interviews and things to be putting on your resume or when you're up for promotions. So if you're quiet quitting but you're not achieving, you're actually hurting your career more than it's helping you. Remember, when you want to leave your company and you're interviewing at other places, they only want to hire people who are high performers. They're not going to hire someone who's just average. And so if you're quiet quitting, you won't have strong examples that will make you stand out from everyone else. 
Now, also, I want a quick disclaimer. If you are a manager and you are watching this video about quiet quitting, this is a sign that you need to start doing a workload analysis of your team. As a manager right now, you should be doing a workload assessment of your team, trying to understand what everybody is working on, what their scope of work is, what their current workload is, and how much they are working. And you also should be getting ready now for annual compensation planning as we reach the end of the year. You need to be thinking about how you're going to be using your discretionary funds as a manager to retain and reward the top performers on your team. Now, if you're watching this video and you are not a manager and you are feeling burnt out from work, don't do the quiet quitting all right away and overdo it. Instead, you should be broaching this topic first with your manager or your upper manager and see what they can be doing to assist you here. Because it's a tough job market right now and they don't want to have someone leave their company and go work for a competitor. So with the market timing right now and companies are stressed and under budget and under resourced, they don't want to lose you if you are still there. So leverage the opportunity right now so that you can start to change things at your work culture. All right, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Now you know what quiet quitting is. And if you want to see other types of videos on this channel, make sure you comment them down below. I promise I read all of the comments and I will be making videos for what you are asking for. Thank you all for watching and don't be afraid to shake things up.